I planted quite a lot of shallots in a raised bed outside. And as you know, when you put a shallot in, it's just one single bulb, which then splits off into about five. We had one recently in a little container that we harvested that actually split off into seven individual bulbs. We like using shallots to make pickled onions, but I don't like them too big. Some people like really big pickled onions, but I like quite small ones. Not tiny, like the Paris Silver Skins that we've already done on his cooking channel. And if you haven't seen that video, there's a link in the description, so you can go and check that video out. But something a little bit bigger. And because I want them at a certain size, I've decided I'm going to take all those shallots up today. And then I can get them cleaned up and get them pickled. And that's a bit more produce that we're saving, ready for months to come. Let's go and have a look at that bed and we'll see how these shallots have done. There is something else that I want to show you. And to me, it's one of the most exciting things at the beginning of the season to see. I'm sure you're gonna agree. Let's go and have a look. Just before we go outside and check out this little surprise, I just want to say thank you to Elaine O'Neill who made a donation to the channel. Thank you very much, Elaine, for your generosity. It's really appreciated and it's gonna come in very useful this weekend. Before we go down to that bed, I need to check some tomatoes out. We've had a few that's not been too well. That's that one that was stripped back quite recent, but take a look. One of these tomatoes is starting to ripen. That's brilliant. Because there is a lot of tomatoes on this plant and it doesn't look too bad now since we cut all that foliage away and it is still trying to produce flowers. So that's something really good to see at the beginning of the day. Because there's a lot of tomatoes on this plant. But to see one starting to ripen, now nah, that starts your day off on a really positive note. I've also moved this container away from that container garden as well, because we had a similar problem with these leaves, as you can see there. So it's a case of isolate, remove all these leaves and hope for the best. But again, this plant is full of flower. You just look how many flowers is on here. Each one that's going to become a tomato. And we've already got loads of tomatoes on it as well. But that is a sight for sore eyes. Let's go and check out these shallots now. Just as we're passing, that cucumber plant shot up. It's always worth a little look in case we don't get a chance to look later. It's put on a lot more growth, so now it's trying to grow outwards again. So again, we'll pin that up like that. Down at the bottom, we've now got two cucumbers on this one plant. As you can see there. So this is doing really well, but it's absolutely full of flowers as well. And if we just check down here where these peppers are, This plant, small as it is, has got two quite big peppers on it. Brilliant. Because we have got a lot of peppers growing in here. So that's two things that we've seen already this morning that are positive. A ripening cherry tomato and good sized peppers starting to form on all these plants. And they're in this bed. We've got one bed that's just completely full of onion sets that, albeit slow, are still trying to grow. And then this one next to it, which has got some more in, and a few of these are quite a bit bigger. But we don't harvest these till August, so we've got plenty of time. But this half of that raised bed, we're filled with shallots, and there's quite a few in there. 
varying sizes but some look quite big and I don't want them to get too big and that's why I'm going to take them all out I want to take these ones up first because they are quite big they should come out easy enough and that's a nice bunch of onions but I don't really want them to get that big but we can strip some of the outer skin off to make that as small as we need it but I am taking them all out today and then we'll use this bed for something else so nice little bunches of onions there and that's about as big as I want them so we'll just get all these out today you can take these onions any time you want but for me that time is now really nice bunches of onions these making sure I get every one because you can use them for cooking if you have too many and that's his last couple coming out there well that's a three foot by three foot square piece of ground that we've just took all those from and I think you'll agree that that's a pretty good harvest amazing one onion set placed into ground, splits off into multiple individual onion bulbs. And all we have to do is just clean them up, separate them off. This one split off into seven individual bulbs. Brilliant. And they're not tiny by any stretch. They easily break apart. And if we take that bit of root off bottom and this outer skin you can see there that we've got a lovely little onion and for me that is a perfect size for a pickled onion so we just need to split these all off into individual bulbs then I like to tie them together in a bunch and I'll put them in that shelter so no rain can get to these and I'll just hang them up and dry them for a few days just a big bunch of onions together like that old duck job but don't take the skins off your onions like I just did I only took that skin off to show you how clean it was underneath so leave your roots on leave all that skin on as well and then just hang them up I just like to bunch them up like this and then just hang them off at ground in a cool dry place they don't want to be left in the sun but for now let's see how many we've got well this is what we got from that little harvest 92 individual bulbs now that is a good return because for each clump we only used one set and we averaged six to seven Per clump. So an amazing return and plenty of onions there to make up a few jars of pickled onions since these are a little bit bigger but they're just the size that I want. If you're growing shallots let them grow on as big as you like or take them early if you prefer. But I think for just putting one onion set in ground to be returned seven individual bulbs is a win-win situation. None of these bulbs are soft, they're all nice and firm. But apart from this little harvest today, and the fact that we're getting even bigger peppers growing on those plants outside, as cucumber is growing and growing, and now providing even more fruits and lots of flowers for more fruits to come. The best part of this morning 
has got to be to see that little Cherry Falls dwarf tomato plant that looked so sick the other day starting to produce its first ripe cherry tomato. It don't matter what might have happened the day before, that lifts you to an old new level just to see your first ripening cherry tomato at season and even more so when that's come from a plant that we've tried really hard to save because it looks so sick and is now starting to repay us for that effort. So a brilliant start to today. I've got some more things I'm doing this afternoon and we will record those as we're doing them so we can keep up these daily videos so I know that everybody is following every single thing that we do every step of the way because that's what makes this channel unique. But between now and then I'm going to get these tied up and start drying them out so we can start making ourselves some homemade pickled onions. If you'd like to see how rest of plants get on as we go through the rest of summer then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you next time. Take care.